Biomare is a municipality along the Tisa River in northwestern Romania and is the capital of Maramulis country. The city is situated about 600 kilometers from Bucharest, 70 kilometers from the border with Hungary, and 50 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. On January the 30th, 2000, a retaining wall failed at the oral gold processing plant in Biomare on the Romanian-Hungarian border releasing 100,000 cubic metres of wastewater, heavily contaminated with approximately 100 tonnes of cyanide. This resulted in cyanide concentrations in the water being 700 times over the limit. The spill was the result of poor dam design and unusual weather conditions. The amount of precipitation during the winter of 1999 to 2000 was unusually high, which caused unexpectedly large amounts of water to accumulate. In addition to this, the days before the actual disaster were sunny and warm, resulting in snow and ice melting. These high amounts of water subsequently applied great pressure to the poorly built dam, resulting in the release of toxic substances into the environment. Since the 1960s, cyanide heap leaching has been used widely in the mining industry as an effective way to separate gold from the mined ore. The process includes pouring a cyanide solution over crushed ore. This requires the use of large quantities of highly toxic cyanide. The cyanide solution is either reused, stored in a dam, or directly discharged into rivers or the sea. In addition to cyanide, large amounts of heavy metals are released from the ore and pose a significant threat to the environment if they come into contact with it. The cyanide catastrophe produced severe negative short-term and long-term impacts, which affected the economy, society, and environment of Biomare and other surrounding areas. Wildlife on the Teza River was especially affected, with all aquatic species dying. Further south in the affected Serbian section of the river, up to 80% of all aquatic life died, including 20 protected species. There was an estimated cleanup cost after the disaster of approximately $170 million. Oral gold paid compensation to Biomare alone, but not to any other affected areas of Romania. As a result of the cyanide spill, many fish died, resulting in the loss of jobs to thousands of fish industry workers. Since the main industry in Romania is the fish industry, the decrease in the population of fish dramatically affected many people. Biomare citizens are now said to have a 10 year lower life expectancy since the pollution of the area in 2000. Many people unwillingly ate fish that was polluted with cyanide and subsequently became sick or died. Gold producing was suspended in Biomare after the accident. The fish industry was the worst affected as Hungary relies heavily upon it for both income and survival. Apart from 1,240 tonnes of fish dying from the pollution, a six-month fishing ban was put in place in Hungary to allow the fish to repopulate again. In 2002, fishermen caught only a fifth of their original catches back in 2000. The total damage to the fishing industry is predicted to equal a total of $5,839,000. In 2000, the amount of tourists in the Hungary region reduced by a total of 18,500 people. This loss is sizable, as Hungary relies on the tourist industry to produce an income for their country. After the spill, the drinking supply of over, over 2.5 million Hungarians was contaminated, resulting in widespread fear and psychological panic. Also, the average life expectancy of people in Hungary has reduced by 10 years. A single story which demonstrates the scale of the disaster is from Anna, an affected Hungarian citizen who speaks of her life in the past year since the disaster. She says, certain mornings you can't go out the house because you feel so sick. Your nose and mouth hurt. Mainly the children are affected. The children feel terrible. They're pale and they often get ill. This is just one life among millions of others, which has been directly affected by the disaster. Since the cyanide spill, many changes have been put in place, 
One of them being that Oral Gold has been banned totally from working in Biomare. At first, this situation was handled well by authorities, as the pollutants were eventually stopped from flowing into the river, and there was an early warning sent downstream to towns to order them to block the pumps that draw water to their drinking supply. But on the other hand, some things did not go so well. In particular, attempts to neutralize the cyanide in the river were unsuccessful and simply added more noxious chemicals into the water. There was a permanent psychological fear that was instilled upon the community since the civil society lost its trust in the industry and government experts. There are long-term ecological and economical effects as a result of the disaster that have had a variety of impacts from no fishing industry to a massive sum of money and damages. The civil society of Biomare should assign certain parts of the year to be non-fishing times. This will give the fish time to repopulate and allow the population to get back to what it was like before the disaster. The workers at Oral Gold and Biomare should have assessed the weather conditions more carefully on the days before the disaster and noticed that there was too much water collecting for the dam to hold. Many people were affected and this could have been avoided if the government and Oral Gold worked together to more carefully assess whether cyanide was being stored properly and whether it would be held safely in the case of a disaster. To make sure similar disasters does not occur again anywhere in the world, facilities must be regularly checked, as well as how dangerous substances are being stored and dealt with. By having an emergency plan and knowing how to eliminate chemical hazards in the case of an emergency, the threats of such a disaster happening again will be kept to a minimal. If these recommendations were followed in Biomare at the time of the disaster, the tragic cyanide spill would have had less of an impact on the society, the environment, and the economy. Nobody knows if Biomare will ever fully recover from such a disaster. It may take years, even decades, for life to get back to normal, before that terrible night of January the 30th, 2000.